Well, welcome to Let's Draw again. Um, I'm doing just stuff I find in Pinterest <laughs> at a fairly large scale. You know, even if the original art is like a small comic panel, I'm going to do it at a large scale. And it's the damnedest thing. I've got a video that is uploading to YouTube right now. It's my page 25 of Brillig. Um, of the first like two and a half panels. I've actually already done four panels on it, but the video had like two panels done on it. And for some reason it is uploading at the slowest rate. So it's been uploading since like four o'clock and it's now seven. So, <laughs> but, but it's, it's almost there. Let me look at what it's got left. It's at 59%. Oh, it's just going to run all night. And then, I'm not helping the matter. I decided to get back into music. You might have heard some of my videos or seen some of my um, speedrun videos where I'm, um, hang on, where I have music. Sometimes the music came, comes from the video program I use or I got it from Techno Axe or I think in one case I got it from the Free Music Archive. Um, and usually those are cc by and if it's cc by of course that just means it's creative commons you just have to attribute who the author is so it'll say hey this music's by techno x go check out his channel um but sometimes it's me you can hear the music and you go oh and if it says it's by me it's by me now, i use uh volcas and um less common now but i'm i i've started to get back into it which is um Lap steel, which you might know as sort of a country music or a blues type instrument, but um, you know, it's you run it through a chorus pedal, it has infinite sustain. And you know, if you know some of the secrets to making chords on it, you know, you, you're um, you have a C6 chord that sounds really good, anyway. Um, and you can do some really interesting music with it. I'm getting interested in looking at these vintage comic panels and wanting to draw them, and I've noticed some interesting things about them. One thing is the nose on some of these. A lot of these were not drawn from reference. They're just drawn from... Um, from the artist's ability to know how to how to draw. And I'm trying to figure out the shape. <laughs> and I might get it wrong. I really like this vintage style. There's, um, to get back into something I talked about previously, um, Santos Sisters by Greg and Fake, which is, um, a sort of a pastiche of the Archies, but with other stuff in it. It's kind of a pastiche of the Archies, but with a little bit of Silver Age superheroes to them. Um, super cool. And I love that style. And in fact, when I did a Isolt, that was my idea was to have an Archie style thing. Now I did I ended up I wasn't good enough of an artist to really pull it off. And I wasn't consistent. But um it is something I'd love to uh try out again one day. I'm a firm advocate of, or a firm believer that you can't really escape your art style. You, you just have it. And that's what you got. <laughs> I mean, you can kind of learn to draw different things. But.
I think it's. She's got one of those uh, 1940s, 1950s style hair. Hair things. I think they call these victory rolls. This is from the era when women would would wear rollers. They would roll their hair in rollers. Interesting thing about my my villain here. Ooh, I don't like that nose. I think this is he's a fifties looking villain. He's got one of those uh John Waters style pencil mustaches. I wish I knew the artist here had credit him. Because I'm definitely trying to figure out. I don't know that right. My idea here is to try and get it as close as possible. Sure. That seems to have a very vintagey look. Again with the he's got the sweat beads on his forehead, just like the um the horror uplighting one I did. So where's the brow? The brow is here. There would be, you know, between the eye and the nose line. In this case, I think he has a hairline that's pretty far back. In this case, he's got his head turned. Well, I don't have the, the right, I haven't done this right, I can see. But among other things, I want to get the folds of her clothing and the folds of his clothing. And I want to specifically try and emulate the, um, the ink strokes that were used. And it looks, I'm seeing, I'm seeing brush. And what could be, you know, like a dip dip pen. Yeah, I don't like his eye. She has her hand. Classic pose. She's grabbing this guy and she's threatening him. If I knew what comic this was from.
I think part of my problem is the nose. What is we're doing is we're tra I'm, I'm training myself to try and see it. And without digital, of course, there's no resizing. There's no fixing it on the fly. You know? Either you get it or you don't. And I think I might have not gotten it. But I'm going to try. And then I'm also... I might be running out of... Um, running off the panel like I think the the real panel border stops before the ear like maybe over there let's um let's throw down another straight edge there we go got some new micron pins let's start right down there crop it a little bit For those of you watching tonight, might be very bored. <laughs> like, what is he doing? Um. Anyway, what I'm doing is just doing the best I can. Okay, I think his hair. So it doesn't show much of his hair. Like, in the version I have, it 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 goes off the page. I'm assuming. that the hair is going slick straight back. Cause he's, he looks like a seedy type. He looks like the, um, if you ever see the kinks, uh, come dancing video, come dancing. He looks a little bit like the, the gentleman in that video. Oh, you know what? He's got a, that's his neck. So his neck is here. And they've gone complete black back here. Her brow, she has kind of a widow's peak here. And then I don't know what she is. Maybe she's a female gangster, <laughs> just an angry woman. Um, She's just an angry lady. Okay. That actually crops on her on the, about right over there. She's wearing a, um, a pearl wristband, like a bracelet, rather. There we go. Now that's a classic looking thing here. Now let's see if we can ink it. All right. That's where the rubber meets the road. All right. Now I have to go get a uh, some water and a paper towel. I've got a paper towel right here, in fact. Um, and the ink will be... I've got this nice Japanese ink. This is a... Uh, I don't know, Kurotaki, I think. One second. All right. This is my water. It's 
Let's move that off to the side. And let's give this a shot. Move my mouse here. Uh, first, let's uh, check in on my upload, which has been going for hours. Oh. Oh, you motherfuckers. Okay, I'm at 84%. That's good, but it looks like it said... Uh, Zoom, if I can. No oh, shit. Well, I'll give it another shot some other time. All right, let's get back in there. Move my mouse here. This is a uh, Koinor. I have the uh, the Japanese one, Tachikawa, and the spoon nib. I think these are both spoon nibs. Um, I just happen to have a lot of these spoon nibs, so I've, that's what I've been using. So I could use the Tachikawa. I really don't think the uh, uh, type of nib holder you use matters too much. All right, then where do you start? The only thing I know from inking class is you start with the closest. Well, let's just do this. We'll start with a panel border. I don't want to do this one because I'm going to put my hand right on it. So I'm going to go ahead and instead we'll do a little bit of his ear. There's a good chance that I'm going to switch to a brush. I'm looking at it, and it might have been inked with a brush. I mean, it looks very brushy. Um, can never be 100% sure, though. I think that I just have to remember if I I want the hair to should I have it taper? Which ways so if you where it tapers is where for me it's where you end. I think. Right? If you pull off at the end a bit, there it is tapering a little bit. Well, let's hope. Oh, God. All right. I'm not getting close enough. These lines are not close enough. And it's going to come out a bit messy. He should have his hair. Oh, there's a spill right there. Oops. Actually, it doesn't look bad. It's going to be, you know, at the end, it's going to be black. We just want to be able to show. Um, some some negative space in between the hair strokes there. feeling super ambitious afterwards maybe we could we could even paint it this is waterproof ink i think i believe it is okay. 
making is definitely all about patience, so. All right, I think go under. I'm looking at the, my my uh, source drawing, and it is nice and it's got a nice thick line to it. Um, so, anyways, I recommend if you if you want to develop a good drawing habit. Oh, I didn't do the. Okay, well, there we go. If you want to develop a good drawing habit. And you're looking for references, you don't know what to draw. It's a very common problem. Um, just go on Pinterest and start, you know, setting up a board of things that interest you and that you like, that you think you can get away with drawing. We have some top light going on here, actually. I think I'm going to try and... I can do it without being messy. I wish I could. Put my hand down, I might go right down into that. All right. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. I don't want to. I'm. I'm feeling afraid that I'm gonna like put my hand down in it, which I don't want to do. Now, one of the things I do when I'm digital inking is I do thick lines first, then I go in and I do thin lines, and it's um. That's a sane way to approach it. But with ink, it's less sane because of this wet ink problem. You have to be very careful. I'm trying to get some flex out of this nib too, and it's not. It's not ideal. All right, Mr. Come Dancing, we're almost there. looking at it and this is the same instinct I have when I'm doing it digitally is go off your pencil lines forget your pencil lines maybe you weren't thinking right sometimes that's a good thing on digital you can just erase it if you get it wrong on ink you cannot do that <laughs> all right Oh, I should not have drawn that line all the way across. And yet I did. There we go. There's a nice variation. I like that line thickness. So I learned from Joe Prado, who only inks with a tech pen. And if it's if you need line thickness, you're just going over it twice. The way he teaches it. Um he's a good guy, good teacher. I don't fully understand the situation in Brazil, obviously, but um, anyways, I like him. I learned a lot from him. Oh, I love his... He's got sweat beads all down his face, so... The way the sweat beads are done is they're thick on one side, thin on the other. Like that. Oh. I don't want to end up with the same problem I did on the hair where it blobs out some ink. You got to be very careful.
Seems like a we have a little Looking at the triangles in the in the folds as she's pulling his collar. Yeah, she's she's a ball bunker. <laughs> I like looking at her. Anyways, all right, let's do her uh, neck here. Like that thick neckline. Then I think her hair comes out to So I'm trying to download this music stuff. That's what I was saying. And then I just looked over it and it failed. So <laughs> it was like a sample pack, you know, with um, loops and beats and stuff, you know, that I was going to use to make some music. Oh. I don't have all the instruments to do it. I have the Volcas, obviously. Um. But I thought it might be fun to just kind of just set the uh, the laptop up and go, you know? All right, a lot of this is going to get buried in shadow. Uh, she's got a collar, and it looks like this. Something like that. But some of that collar is just buried in black. Like everything in this is buried in black. What do you think? Is this a boring? Is this a boring kind of video to watch? I've got my first 100 viewers or subscribers, rather. I've got more than 100 viewers, but I've never had that many subscribers. Um, and welcome, and I'm excited to hear from you. I don't really consider myself a content creator and that I'm not going to be making videos um, like a show. <laughs> like, I mean, it is kind of like a show. It's stuff I would be doing. This is stuff I'm already doing, and I have an easy flow where I can talk while I'm doing it, and which not everybody can do, by the way. So, um, So I was thinking that, you know, Might be fun to put these videos online. See what happens. There's a lot of kayfabe out there, a lot of fakery. I am liking this, this vintage look. I think I have learned a little bit. There's a thing that's happening with her nose and I haven't gotten to it yet but there's a shadow I have kind of hinted at it with a pencil here on the other side of the nose and I, I saw it yesterday when I was drawing the um, um, Billy Batson in a much simpler drawing I think I have it um, I don't want to get it in the wet. But do you see how this, this black area on the other side of the nose is? Um, 
That's an interesting kind of old school tell to me. I, I'm like, what is that? You know. This is another all black. By the way, we will not be erasing tonight. I'm going to let this dry overnight no matter what. I've done too many ink drawings where I'm like, this looks great. I just have to erase the pencil. And I erase it and then just like swoosh, you know, the ink just smears across the page. Because I thought it was dry and it really just wasn't. So if I leave it for a full night, that should do it. And then maybe even forget about it. I'll go to work and come back. So it'll be even more than a full night. River hair. Oh, all right. I, I think I can work on this part of the hair too. Yeah, I want to be, keep making sure that it's safe for me to put my hand down. Oh, it's so easy to screw this up. Inkers are patient people. I'm not know if I'm am I cut out to be an inker? Are you cut out to be an inker? And everyone's looking at this and going, why doesn't he just use a pen? <laughs> I have pens. Why doesn't he just use a micron? It's what everyone's using these days, right? I just don't like the micron look. Oh shit, 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 shit. All right, we had a little problem there. We had a little two inch ink on the on the on the uh, nib. It's okay. It's okay. I think we're just gonna chill for a second. Okay. The ironic part is for a lot of this, it shouldn't matter because you get to the hair, which it's okay if it if there's some you know extra ink in there. You know, just like here, it's probably okay. This is the hardest thing to figure out. I'm wondering if I should just get the brush out. Because I'm looking at it, and the strokes are thicker. Like the way they did it in the uh, the model, it's like three or four strokes. And also, the other thing I think is I I did put her eyes far enough apart. They're too close to each other. So let me just chill for a second while I imagine. What a, this is the heck of a time to figure out that you maybe drew it a little bit off. By the way, how about this? So this area right here is, um, I'm going to put this on the, uh, Stop, leave me alone. <laughs> Fuck. All right, that's fine. 
This is my brush pen. This is all a blackout area. This is all. Oh, come on. Get some ink in there. And I have a finer, um, a slightly finer brush pen. I used it on the, um, I think I used it the one, that one on the, uh, horror uplighting video. Oh, see, look, I have this extra, like, little strand, and it's going down here messing with this line, which it should not be doing. That's what can happen, man, if you weren't careful. Maybe it's my own amateur sensibilities coming out. What we're going to have to do, though, whoops. Oh, I dipped it in the uh, ink there. Let's cover it up. I've got another blackout area right here, but I'm not going to touch it just yet. All right, let's let's leave this for a moment. For a moment. I'm hoping the ink dries out a little bit. All right, where's my Tachikawa? Here it is. Hang on. My only problem with this Tachikawa nib is it's the, the uh, nib area is very loose. I've got it kind of built up with some masking tape, but, um, you know, it tends to make the nib fall out. All right, let's, let's give it a shot. Okay. I'm looking at her nose. Oh, she's really mad. So she's got like this. This is her angry nose. All right. All right, this is it. It's it's sort of like win or die. You're either going to get this thing done and it's going to look okay, or you're not. There we go. I think I'm going to go off the pencil a little bit. Push your eye back a little bit. He still looks angry. This is that was mission accomplished. All right, I'm looking at. We're looking at shit. All right, we gotta put this. This is all black. There is a. All right, very tough. I can still see it's wet over here.
Okay. Apologize for the slowness here. Just three strokes, maybe four strokes. And I'm going to do two strokes. And then I'm going to do four. Let me see if I get this right. I don't think I put enough thickness in those. Once I'm going to thicken out one of them strokes. All right. All right. We're getting somewhere. And in general, I feel like the top lip is always darker than the lower lip. She's got that kind of classic World War II era lipstick on. All right, we're getting somewhere, but where? <laughs> All right, her ear is not showing. I'm looking at her. Such an interesting looking lady. Um, okay, let's do this other collar. Well, I'm afraid to touch the collar because it's is I'm going to get close up in there. So I need to do the hair first. So I got those. I'm going to do five strokes, okay? Oh, shit. You got to have ink on there, buddy. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Curl here, but on the back it's straight. It's kind of like the the 1940s mullet <laughs> for ladies. I think we need a thicker line under the chin. All right. All right, we got there. I think we need to go down with a stroke. And then we're going to do two strokes up here. It looks like five, but they're real close together. Almost touching. I really want to learn this art style. All right. This is going to be four, and they're not touching. But they're nice, thick strokes. Then four. And then three. Okay, now we're going to get into these curls. The curls 
I have the strokes on both sides, so that's going to be tough. Let's do three. Let's do four here. One on the opposite side, two, and then four. Well, I don't think we got close enough, so we're gonna have to do some more here. An interesting thing that's going on here that I'm looking at is there is a shadow right there. All right. One line I am reasonably sure we will not have to worry about is this top line. So let's go ahead and ink it. One single smooth stroke. If you if you try and feather that thing or pet your line, you know, it's gonna look bad. Okay. I think that it's a line that comes back here because I don't know this line yet. I'm hesitant to really mess with it. But I do know this. We can we can go down the back of the hair. It looks so severe. Wow. Now let's go ahead and put more. All right. You gotta be careful when you're coloring in because if you if you hit your nib the wrong way it'll it'll bend backwards and then snap forwards, spattering ink in all directions in a way that you will not like. All right. All right, at this point, the curls do not reach the edge of the hairline. So whatever we do, we're gonna continue with these curls with like, I need lots of ink on there. How much ink is on there?
All right. Well, at this point, the, the curls start curling behind. And some of this is only going to be possible with practice. I don't think I'm going to get good at it in the space of what I've got. All right. All right. Now, this area in the back, I think we just need to, we're going to just completely cover it in. It all becomes one big blackish area, but it's still going to have its edges, kind of like his hair. And we're just going to hope that we retain enough. So the next time I try to draw hair, I'll have remembered some of this texture and technique and shape. <laughs> Right, let's do the let's do their bracelet. Okay. Okay, this area, I'm going to go ahead and let's do this one, this line right here. Ooh, it went off register a little bit. This area is, is going to be a blackout. We lost it again. Okay. This for accuracy's sake. I know I should just be getting a brush. I got a brush right there. And I'm not getting it out, but it's because I got spooked by that last time. Pulled the brush out, then like a stray hair. Like that's not even your fault. I I blame the tool craftsman that blames his tools and that's me a poor craftsman this is a cool style I don't know who did this it looks 1950s it's a very classic looking illustration I love it um, it's not my original art I mean although you saw me draw it I, I drew it from reference so I can't really tell you who came up with it. But man, I do enjoy inking. Now, before you say, hey, Peter, you like inking so much, you should be inking my stuff. I will caveat that by saying, I really enjoy inking my own work. <laughs> work that I've drawn. I just... I'm afraid of screwing somebody else's stuff up. I mean, that's that's the truth of it. I don't really want to turn something in and have somebody be disappointed. Um, I think if there is a a path for me into quote unquote modern comics, it might be through inking. And I'm not good yet. And I'm I, there's a kid named Esteban Lopez that was in one of my classes. 
He must have been like 14 or 15 years old. Maybe he might have been 16 years old. Incredible anchor. <laughs> like, like, like that guy was good. Anyway. All right, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing what I did wrong. This shadow is actually related to the hand. And there should be also... I'm almost done here. Open that by tomorrow. This looks freaking great. That said, if my current uploading situation is not resolved, I'm not going to be uploading it anytime soon. So we'll see. Careful. This is not Bristol board. This is regular paper. It's just this is like a this is like a 110 GSM. Um, sketchbook. So it's not even meant for wet media. But I don't care. All right. There's some folds and there's some folds. Okay, now let's just let's just pray to the inking gods that whatever happens that uh if I got this right? Yeah. Some black back here. That it dries okay. We're gonna wait a couple days before I do some erasing on it. It doesn't it looks fine the way it is. Thank you for taking part in another incredible edible. Sketchbook Destroyer, now I'm just goofing around. All right, tell me what you think. I'm feeling good. All right, please like, follow, and subscribe. There will be more art, drawing, comics, sketchbooking, sketchbooking, um, probably every day. Uh, that took an entire hour between the drawing and the inking. And it's still not very good and it's still going to be wet. Oh my god. Let's take a look at it. It's going to be wet for a while. Oh my gosh. See you later.